Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to upload using method number two and this method is the most efficient one and it works on Chrome and Firefox no problem. I tried it on Safari but it was not able to work but maybe later on there will be a support for Safari that will get it to work but this one will not use any keyboard functions and it's pretty straightforward. So we're gonna use the same website that we used before so we'll, we'll go to here and this will actually be similar in all websites but just to make sure we want to check for a expat that it is called if I zoom in for you guys so you guys can see I'll write the two dashes input and then I'll write at type equal file, close the quotation, close the bracket. Here you go. This you will probably find in all websites. I tried it in at least three websites that I know and I found it. And it was, I tried it on all three and it worked totally fine. So all you have to do, you take this expat. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to put a 3 second delay just to give it time to load the page. And then I'm going to find that this element by XPath. And then I'm going to do a send keys function and I'm going to use a picture that I downloaded from the intranet so this picture so I'm gonna press shift right click go to copy as path I'll go back here and then Make sure actually there's no extra quotations when you're copying it and then I'm just gonna add extra slashes like that and this is actually it you don't have to use any of the keyboard functions you don't have to press enter not even this will not even appear is gonna go to this right away it's not gonna even pop up this and this will actually make it super easier to run your program in the background with no interference. So let's actually see how it actually works. So if I play it, let me make it bigger for you guys so you guys will be able to see. And here you go. It got uploaded. No problem. And that's it for this tutorial actually. I would totally recommend to use this method uh, instead of the keyboard one. The keyboard one, since Safari is uh, a pain in the ass, you can probably use that one uh, instead for the keyboard one. But this one, it will work on Chrome and Firefox, so why not using it? It will save you a lot of time. And the other part is, the, other, the keyboard one is extra steps anyways, so and it works on Mac and Windows. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something new. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions and uh, have a great day.